Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the brand new Wahoo Kicker Run Treadmill because I just got back from the Boston Running Show here in Massachusetts where Wahoo had a booth and they had two of these treadmills set up for us to test out. So at this event, both my wife Jen and myself got to run on these new Wahoo treadmills. We got to see what they're all about, see them firsthand. So in this video today, I wanna to run through what the Wahoo Kicker Run is, why it's so special in a landscape of boring old treadmills, what it was like to use and experience it firsthand and what my wife and myself thought about using it after we used it. And along the way, I'll be sharing lots of clips of actually using this treadmill so you can get an idea of what it actually looks and feels like. And I'll also be sharing some clips of a quick interview I did with the founder of Wahoo Fitness, Chip Hawkins, where he adds some insight to the future of this product line, which was kind of interesting. Okay, so what makes the kicker run so different? Well, the first thing about this treadmill is I just gotta get this out of the way right up front, is the craziest new feature called Run Free Mode. Run Free Mode utilizes a special time of flight sensor built into the dashboard of the treadmill to control your speed while you're running on it. Essentially, the closer your body gets to the front of the treadmill, the faster the treadmill will go. And when you start to slide back on the, on the treadmill deck, it'll actually slow down. Basically, the treadmill can detect where your body is in space on the deck of the treadmill. And in practice, that means when you speed up, so does the treadmill. And when you slow down, so does the treadmill. It feels pretty wild. I'll be honest, the first time I tried run free mode, it was kind of a weird experience. It took some getting used to because it feels so unnatural to slow down on a treadmill because of the fears that's programmed into my brain about falling off the back of the treadmill. But after a few minutes, I got used to it and it felt extremely natural. And it made me wonder why no one's thought of this before. Run free mode is probably the coolest and most exciting tech I've seen in a while on a treadmill. This is real innovation. The way this run free mode works is once you get on the treadmill, you have to get up to a casual speed of around 15 miles per hour. And once you hit that speed and the treadmill kind of identifies that you're on the treadmill, you can go ahead and push a dedicated button that's right on the dashboard that's for the run free mode. And once you hit that, it, the treadmill will just do whatever you do. So if you run fast, it will go fast. If you go slow, it will go slow. And if you want to do intervals or anything like that, it will just do that and it's very responsive. And when you take run free mode technology and combine it with the connectivity of this treadmill, it's really mind blowing because this treadmill does connect with several apps including Zwift. And if you're unaware of what Zwift is, it's very popular in the cycling world. It's basically a video game where you're competing against other people, real people all around the world. They also have one for running. It's called Zwift Run. It's been around for a while, but I feel like it's never really gained traction because it was never really immersive. I've tried it in the past and I just didn't get used to it. But I tell you what, this new treadmill changed my mind about Zwift Run because after using it just one time at this demo, it was way more entertaining than any other treadmill experience I've tried before. In terms of connectivity, the Wahoo Kicker Run does have Wi-Fi built in, but it's also got Bluetooth and direct connectivity for its other accessories. On top of that, it will integrate with Zwift, of course, like I just talked about, but it also integrates with Wahoo System app and Training Peaks. I know I'm very excited about that run free mode, but there are some other exciting features as well including the max speed of the kicker run because this treadmill gets up to 15 miles per hour or a four minute per mile pace, which is way outside the realm of what I can do. But I was able to get the treadmill up to a 530 pace, which is what they actually had it capped at at this event so no one would get hurt. And it did seem like it had plenty of headroom to go even faster. This additional speed isn't useful for everyone, but if you are an elite runner, you're training for a really fast 5K or something like that, or you wanna do really fast intervals, having that extra headroom for speed is a huge deal because you can't really find that in any other residential style treadmill. And when I talked to Wahoo about this, they were really proud about it because they actually developed all the motor control boards and electronics themselves in house instead of outsourcing that. So they have a, a lot of control over what these motors and how everything can work together, which is how they got that extra speed out of this treadmill. When it comes to additional sensors on the Wahoo Kicker Run, of course it does have that time of flight sensor for that run free 
mode, but on top of that, it's got sensors in the deck of the treadmill that can pick up things like ground contact time, cadence, left-right balance and ratio, and other advanced running metrics, and it seems like they're still working to add even more on top of that as things progress. And all these running metrics are displayed in real time while you're running on the treadmill when your phone or tablet is tied to the Wahoo app. Now let's talk about the build quality of this treadmill because it seems like, I mean, I just saw it for the first time today that this thing is built like an absolute tank. Everything about it looked really refined. There are no gaps or weird pieces of plastic or anything. Everything felt very good and right up there with commercial grade treadmills. But what I think is most impressive about this treadmill is just how quiet it is under full operation. There are people at a full out sprint at this event and you can barely hear the treadmill. Granted, it was very loud at this event, so it was kind of hard to kind of appreciate how quiet the treadmill was, but I could tell it was very quiet and I can't wait to get one home where I can kind of experience it in a quieter environment. Now that we've talked about the exciting features of this treadmill, let's kind of go through some of the other less exciting specs. So the max user weight right now is currently set to 250 pounds, but it seems like that's not set in stone. I mean, just looking at the thing, it's built like a tank. It could probably take a lot more, but that's what it is right now. Another detail about the Wahoo Kicker Run is that it does not have a built-in display like other treadmills. So like a Nordic Track or whatever else, usually have a big bright display where you can do your workouts and stuff. This doesn't have that. Instead, they expect you to pair your tablet to your, your phone or your computer, and you could broadcast Zwift to a large TV right in front of you. And honestly, I think that's the way to go because a lot of times with treadmills, when you've got a built-in display, the display gets kind of outdated over time and you're kind of stuck with it because it's built into the system where having an iPad just seems like it makes more sense. Another item on the spec sheet is that the maximum incline is 15% and the maximum decline is 3%. Yes, it does decline and that's to simulate running downhill. And the belt length is 69 inches long and 22 inches wide. Another thing you might've noticed so far in this video from some of the clips I've been showing you is that it doesn't have traditional controls like other treadmills. Typically on a treadmill, you'd see kind of one through 12 on the side for speed and one through 15 for uh, incline or decline on the other side. This one's totally different. It's got a set of paddles, one on the left and one on the right, that can both control your pace and your incline. And the way these paddles work is very interesting. They're kind of sensitive to movement. So if you flick them really quick, they'll jump up quickly, or you can kind of bump them and do little incre incremental movements. And for me personally, I really liked the paddles when it comes to controlling the pace and incline. Of course, you don't even need to use those if you're tied to Zwift or something like that and using that run free mode, you never even need to touch those controls. But if you want to do a manual workout at a set pace and incline, you can do that as well with this treadmill. You just gotta use the paddles and it's just way better and more intuitive than using the buttons on a traditional treadmill. And that brings us to the next topic that you're probably wondering about, and that is the price. How much does the Wahoo Kicker Run cost? Well, unfortunately, it's very expensive. $5,000 here in the USA. And that might sound very expensive to you. And it is very expensive, I'm not gonna lie. Even compared to something like a Peloton that felt very expensive, this is nearly double that, which is kind of crazy. However, with that being said, with all the new tech and features and just how high quality this treadmill felt, this feels like a fair price, I hate to say it. You've got all of those new sensors, including that time of flight sensor, the run free mode, and the ability to run super fast at 15 miles per hour, which you typically can't do in a residential treadmill. The price works out to the features. Uh, it's very expensive, probably can't afford it, but it is still very cool and I kinda get where they got there. When it comes to availability and when you can actually get one of these things, they're gonna start shipping in June of 2024 and it will only be available in the USA to start. Eventually down the road that may expand. With that being said, let's jump back to the Boston Running Show where I got to interview Chip Hawkins, who's the founder of Wahoo, to get some more insight about the future of this product line and some other details you might find interesting. All right, we're here with uh, founder of Wahoo, Chip Hawkins. Thanks for taking some time to talk to me about the new product here. Um, I just had a few questions for you. First of all, how long has this been in the works before it came out at this event here? A couple answers. So I've been wanting to make this probably since I started on the kicker. So that would be like over 10 years. Got pictures of my treadmill at home that I had dissected and put like a paddle on because it didn't have a paddle. Oh, wow. And so, yeah, this took a lot longer because we started with cycling, but um, we've actually been working on this, like had prototypes over five years ago, I think. Oh, no so way. it's very long 
slow process. Do you foresee this being the start of a new product line it, like in this realm, you know, treadmills being now part of the core makeup of Wahoo? I do. Um, I don't know that we'll have a lot of SKUs, um, but kind of like we did with the with the smart bikes with the kicker bike. This has like there's nothing I didn't get in here. It's kind of like the the Cadillac. It's got it all. Yeah. So I could see you know the price point is going to be around five thousand dollars. That's pretty high to price for a people. It's kind of what I was alluding to, like this being kind of the flagship model, and then maybe we see like a light version. Yeah, a yeah, I think we do have the capability to bring a light version that'll have um, hopefully still the kind of innovative features, certainly the, all the connectivity we can do at a lot lower price point. The run free mode and the tilt left and right, some of those things we'll have to see. I'd love to get them in. And uh, you know, I know I, one of the things is to bring the top speed down, which a lot of people could live with that. It's not going to be this year. You know, it could be next year, but it'd be a, it would be tight. But I, I can, I'm definitely moving on to that now that we got this out. So when it comes to ordering one of these things, obviously well, it probably weighs a few hundred pounds, I would guess. Yeah, so it's I think like 350 pounds. Okay, I mean not crazy for a treadmill, not crazy. But uh, so what's the process like? You you, you order one. Is it like a white glove service? Is it assembled in-house or? Well, it will be um, white glove and uh, US only at first, just okay. so we can get all that figured out. But yeah. Um, yeah, you would order it online and it will come to your house. They will assemble it, take the boxes away, give you some basic instruction and, and, and you're, you're all set to go. Good, and in terms of the integration, uh, obviously Zwift is at the forefront here. We see it yeah, here in the background. Um, but do you see uh, uh, potential with other apps out there. Yeah, just, just like the kicker, it um, we're using FTMS. There's a bunch of limitations of FTMS, so we've added a bunch, and that's all publicly available. Um, and yeah, we're talking to uh, you know, anyone that wants to do it, we'll be glad to help them. And in terms of uh, servicing, you know, I know myself, I've been under my treadmill several times taking out the motor control board or this or that. Yeah. Is there going to be some some sort of uh, Wahoo service team? We'll definitely do, um, you know, there's sort of, uh, because treadmills are so heavy, there's kind of a network of service and repair centers around the country. Yeah. We'll have warranty and we'll have that same thing. You know, you don't want to pack it in the box and send it back to us. So, yeah. you know, we'll likely have that set up where we'll come to your, have someone come to your house to do repairs if necessary. But Part of taking five years is kind of hopefully getting it, you know, knock on something, getting it right so we don't have a lot of that. It is really heavy duty, and um, so you shouldn't have to do really much of anything. Is there some dream feature that you had in your mind that didn't make the cut for this iteration? No, no, it's, um, <laughs> if you can come up with something, I'd be like, wow. This is the kitchen sink. Everyone yeah, it's here. the kitchen sink. It really awesome. is. I think we got it all. Do you, what did you think about it? Um, I thought it was really cool. I thought... When I first got on, I was a little unsure. I think it, it took a little learning curve. I feel like it takes some time to get the feel of it. Like once you get the feel of it, then you and you learn how to control it. I think it's super cool. Yeah. Awesome. Way better than a regular treadmill. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of my take on it. Like when I first got on it, the sensation of slowing down was the scariest part because you feel like you're gonna fly off the back. You basically, they, they were telling us to just slow down, feel natural, run like how you would run. Yeah, you just kept saying just run. Just run, uh, but the feeling of slowing down on a treadmill is so unnatural because typically you fly off the back of a treadmill. Yeah, I think that's yeah. I think you're right. I think that's why it was so hard for me to to speed up and slow down. Okay, that brings us to the final thoughts and conclusions in this video. What do I think about the Wahoo Kicker Run so far? Well, is as you can probably see, I'm pretty excited about this treadmill, and I've said it before in other review videos from competing devices like the Nordic Track I have. I feel like treadmill companies have been stuck in the past for a very long time. It feels like the treadmill market as a whole hasn't really advanced much more since the 90s. I mean, at its core, all a treadmill is is a motor with a belt, and nowadays the biggest upgrade they get is some fancy new display to show your iFit workout or your Peloton stuff. But here with the Wahoo Kicker Run, we're actually seeing innovation. That new run free mode is so much fun and I wanna buy this treadmill simply because of that. Now, I just need to figure out how we can afford it because it's very expensive, but as soon as I can, I'm gonna figure it out because I really want one for my own house. And of course, this is just the beginning. I've only got to use it one time. I've only seen it today and it's a big decision to spend that kind of money, but I am very excited about this new treadmill. I think they're moving in the right direction. The price of this treadmill is going to be the biggest hurdle, I think, for the masses because not everybody 
wants to spend five grand on a treadmill. And I totally get that. I have a hard time swallowing that myself and I do this stuff for a living. My only hope in terms of pricing with this treadmill is that sometime down the road, they come out with a second version of the Wahoo Kicker Run and it's less expensive. Maybe a light version that doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but still retains that really cool run free mode because that's really what makes this thing so special. But that's just my opinion and I'm just some guy on YouTube. And now I wanna hear from you in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Wahoo Kicker Run treadmill. I wanna hear your thoughts on it. If you're gonna get one, if you're not gonna, if it's just way too expensive, what price it should be, what kind of treadmill you have now and why you hate it and if this would fix that. Let me know all those things down below. I would love to hear from you. And with that friends, we have made it to the end of the video. And if you're still watching, you probably like this video. And if you did, please consider going down and giving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss more videos from me in the future. And while you're down there, check out the description down below where you can find a link over to my podcast. You can find a link over to the Wahoo website to check out the, the webpage for this product. And you can check out all of my links to my social medias and my Instagrams and threads and all those things. Check those out too. Follow me over there. Strava, do that too. And that's really it for this video. I'm gonna go daydream about a second job I can get so I can afford this treadmill. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.